Welcome to Community Taking Action, ABCD's program highlighting people and organizations doing great things in and around the Boston area. My name is Eric Mitchell and I'm your host. Today we're going to talk about brain building and child development. And here to help us with that conversation, we've invited two distinguished guests. We will be joined by Mei Wa Fu, the program director of ABCD's Chinese Church Head Start, and Sanindia Bala, Community Impact Director from United Way of Mass Bay and Merrimack Valley. Thank you all for joining us. Let's start off by just talking a little bit about uh, Chinese Church Head Start and the work that you do as a child development program. Chinese Church Head Start is one program of ABCD Head Start and Children's Services. Mm -hmm. We are located at 112 Shaman Ave. Right now we are serving 117 family and children. Most of them are um, Chinese. Americans, mm -hmm. and also most of them are new immigrants. Um, for these new immigrant families, we are a lot of times we are the first partners for their um, for their family, and we also are the um, the gateway for the family in many aspects in this new country. Now, uh, are all of your families uh, of Chinese descent, or do you have to be? No. So ABCD Head Start and Children's Services serve 38 different languages wow. uh, or population from citywide. So we don't advertise that we only accept um, Asian American or Chinese um, families, but um, maybe because of the history or maybe right. because of the name. So um, we do serve a large number of Asian American families. Right. What kinds of activities does the program do or offer for families? So Head Start offered the comprehensive and the wraparound services for, for the family. Of course, first and foremost, we are Head Start program. We provide high quality early education and care for preschool children. But we think that when family is well and when family develop uh, at their best, then children benefit the best. So the whole host of the service we provide include um, early education, disability services, mental health services, nutrition, health, and uh, social service. So it's through the wraparound service model that we help the, the families thrive. Are there any aspects of uh, Chinese church that are more unique to that location Obviously, the name Chinese Church is somewhat distinctive, but is there a language that goes on that would be special to Chinese Church? Are, are children fluent in more than one language? 96% of the families served are from Asian American families. So this is very unique culturally and linguistically, and most of them are um, Chinese um, American families. Um, one thing I do want to mention is how happy uh, families from other backgrounds find themselves um, when when they're in the program right. um, they see that their children develop two languages at the same time yes. so children will go home and speak Chinese to their family or friends so that's very very happy for them to see because there are more and more awareness on how developing two languages benefit the brain and also benefit the later uh, the economic advantage later on in life. And the other thing unique about the program is the life experience of this new immigrant family because when people are recent immigrant family, they often face the challenge of language barrier and also lack of knowledge of how to navigate the system. And um, these are the hardships that's uh, often seen in the program. And um, so immigrant family are less likely to utilize the public benefit due to LEP status, sure. limited English proficiency, and also the lower level of formal education. So these are some of the things that we address. And we spend really considerable time helping right families support on. for the family. I want to shift a little bit and talk about brain building and mm -hmm. brain development. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're talking about uh, new immigrants to America and they're bringing small children and you want to help to influence and develop the brains of small children. What is that all about? 
So the Brain Building in Progress campaign is actually a partnership between United Way and the Massachusetts Department of Early Education and Care. And it's really just about raising awareness on the importance of fostering young children's cognitive, social, and emotional development because of what the research and science tells us about young children's brain development and those early years and how critical it is for them to engage in interactions and enriching environments. And how does a parent learn or, or what kinds of things would a parent do sure. to encourage so we're not really asking parents to do anything new. It's really about the interactions, and we actually refer to it the back and forth interaction between a parent and a child, a serve and return, like mm -hmm. in a game of tennis. Because regardless of whether you're making eye contact with an infant, or cooing to an infant, or reading to a preschooler, um, you know anything that you do that engage that offers interaction to a child um, is building his or her brain. How can uh, someone you know use the brain building mm -hmm. concept and apply it with children. There are lots of easy everyday ways. For example, every parent goes grocery shopping. If you take a child with you, that's an opportunity to do a little scavenger hunt. Find the red fruits, find mm. the apple. There's so many little ways like that. The other thing we emphasize through the campaign is that we know that not all families have access to formal school and child care programs. And so there are plenty of things going on in the community, and especially in Boston, through mm. the variety of community-based organizations we have, um, where parents can bring their child to an enriching environment, such as libraries and their community play groups and all sorts of things, um, where their child can get that social interaction piece and um, engage in some activities with other adults and children as well. And what's happening? You know, what's going on in the brain with all of this engagement? Well, believe it or not, over 90% of our brains are built in the first five years of our lives. Wow. And that means over 700 neural connections, so brain connections per second, are being built in those first few years. And that's what we want. We want to build those brain connections to wire those brains for a lifetime of learning and engagement, because we know that we want children to enter school ready to succeed and to learn. On our website, we've actually just launched a really popular resource, um, an event calendar, where parents from any part of the state can go on, type in their zip code, and find a variety of activities happening near them, from play groups to parent workshops, to special family events, and we've heard that it's a really beneficial resource for families to find things to do with their children. And so you have all over the state? This is a statewide campaign, but there is a lot going on in Boston. And so with that segue, we'll talk about the things, meanwhile, that Chinese Church has done uh, with brain building. I understand you have a community fair mm -hmm. or other, what kinds of things are you working on with the brain building campaign? This has been the second year we have brain building community fair. During that day, this year, we are very fortunate to have Mayor Molly Walsh came to our program and then do a healthy cooking uh, demonstration with our Head Start nutritionist. So nutrition definitely is one aspect of mm -hmm. brain building strategy that's very important for early development. And what else do, should the audience know about brain building or about Chinese church or about child development? We are a very um, comprehensive um, service model and the early brain development and early um, development is definitely uh, beneficial and uh, very important for the community and for the education of all people. We can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. We really need to join forces and share strategy, share resources and to get that, the job done. Absolutely, and on that note, I wanna make sure that if anyone is interested in uh, ABCD's Chinese Church or the Brain Building Campaign, is there a phone number or website that they should go to? For brain building, it's brainbuildinginprogress.org. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. And Chinese Church has started, just look for bostonhasstart.org and there are all the information. Wonderful, wonderful. I'd like to thank you both for coming on the program. We certainly learned a lot about brain building. It's a little late for me, but you know, still appreciate the information. Well, that concludes our program for today. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you've missed any episodes, you can find us on YouTube. My name is Eric Mitchell. I'm your host for Community Taking Action. Until next time.